Today on Nerd Out, Catalyst Voting. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking a little bit about Catalyst Voting. So let's get into it. Uh, before we get into it, a little bit of YouTube house, housekeeping. We are very, very close to that magical 1,000 subscribers number. Um, you have to have 1,000 subscribers in order to turn on ads. So let's help get us there so I can make sure to check that box that says, don't show any ads on my video. Um, go ahead and click the uh, subscribe link down in the description and hit that notification bell if you would. Thanks. So what is Catalyst? It is part of the vision for Voltaire. This allows the treasury to fund various projects that will help the whole Cardano ecosystem grow. And as you know, um, Cardano and all cryptocurrencies are really valued by the network effects they have. So this is uh, one of the, the big advantages of Cardano is that it has this treasury and it can help its own network effect by funding really cool projects. Uh, the community gets to decide which projects get funded. So, and the funds are dispersed by the Cardano Foundation. This is not an IOHK thing, although they, they did help build some of the technology for it, as did Emergo for um, building integration with Euroi, stuff like that. Um, also, participants are financially incentivized to vote. When you vote in Catalyst, you do get a little bit of ADA based on what your voting power is. So how do you register? Well, first of all, it's too late for Fund 5. Um, keep an eye out for when Fund 6 registration opens. Essentially, you go into your, your data list, your Roy wallet. Once registration is open, you go through the registration process for Catalyst, and the output of that is going to be a QR code. And you scan that QR code into the Catalyst mobile app. There's iOS and Android versions of that. And then the voting actually happens on the app. And so what I would do is I would make sure to take a screenshot or somehow save your QR code for later. And the reason is that um, as they've gotten a little further with this process, you don't have to re-register for every fund as long as you have your QR code. You just rescan the QR code in the new fund in the new app. So you can kind of just stay on the mobile app as long as you haven't switched wallets or, or something like that. So for this particular fund, I'm reusing my QR code from Fund 4, and it still has all my same voting power and everything like that. So how to actually vote. Uh, spend some time reading through the proposals ahead of time if you can. You can sign up at uh, cardano.idealscale.com. Uh, if you get an account there, you can also help uh, winnow down the projects or add comments to the developers of the projects on there. So if you want to be really involved, get involved with the ideal deal scale level before voting even happens. And then go through each of the proposals, vote up or down on them. And you can also see this challenges area. This challenges kind of helps direct the big picture for future funds. So in fund five, we're voting for which big picture buckets we want to vote for in Fund 7. So one of those big picture buckets in Fund 5 was developer ecosystem. A couple of funds ago we voted on that as a challenge to say, hey, I really care. I think developer ecosystem is an area that we should direct a big chunk of funds at. So make sure you go into all those areas, not just the individuals, but the, the challenge for future funds as well. So clearing up some misconceptions. You can vote for as many or as few projects as you want. Your voting power is not used up. So when you think about a typical power meter, it goes up and down and you know you have so much power and you can only give your power to certain projects. That is not how it works. So your full voting power gets applied to every project you vote up or down for. So if I vote for a project, this 3,140 voting power gets applied to that, to that project as a plus that number of votes. If I downvote a, a bad project, then it gets a minus that many votes. And then the total votes are tallied at, at the very end of everything. And that's how they determine the top so many projects 
until the money runs out, get funded. So, you know, we have $600,000 for this developer ecosystem. And then they just look at the top projects, go down the list and start funding them until the money is used up. So how do I in particular, this is just my opinion, how do I analyze a project for whether I vote for it? Um, I first take a look at, you know, whether the, the project is useful either to me or to the community as a whole. You know, do they address a problem I have or that the community has? Um, then I take a look, how many stars do the reviewers give it? So this is the, the reviewers that look at, at those Catalyst pr proposals ahead of time, and they'll give it some number of stars. And this particular one is uh, Ashish's Cardano Scan Testnet Explorer. So I do a lot of development and testing on testnet, so I kind of care about this. It has a very good review score. And you got to take a look at their solution. Does the project have a good chance of success? Um, also, going into that is, does the project founder have the right experience? Have they shown in the past that they can do things that they can make a workable project? And in this case, I have a lot of trust in Ashish. And then also, finally, I take a look at the amount requested. Is the funding kind of in line with the amount of effort that that project is going to take to fulfill? Are they asking for, for too much? Um, too little I don't usually worry about, but if, if there's a project that's really asking for something that's way out of line for what they're going to deliver, um, you know, then that would throw up a red flag for me. And then finally, you just click the thumbs up or the thumbs down on the proposal, and then you go through all the proposals that you want to until you're ready to submit the votes. Then you go to this My Votes area and you can cast all of those votes at once. So it, it usually takes me, you know, a couple days to get through all the projects that I want to get through, but it, it is uh, very worthwhile. Um, also, your reward value is not related to the number of votes you cast. It's just whether you cast votes or not. And then I, I think the rewards formula is something, it's just a tiny small bit of ADA based on how, how much voting power you have. But uh, that's all I got today. Thanks again. Subscribe. Nerd out.